But I this, said I, I, I said you what? need you need to start to be organic like our diets, man. That's all I was saying. Oh, yeah. That's all I was saying. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I think that uh, like sugar, man. Who would have thought? Like, I, I mean, it's like you, you could put away the the bigger stuff. And like, oh, I'm not gonna drink, you know, uh, soda or eat candy, which you know rarely do anyway but it's like if you realize how much where sugar is at and everything it's everywhere yeah. you know so pr- processed sugar is everywhere it is crazy so just just like thumbing through that you, you feel like sherlock holmes <laughs> it's the true killer <laughs> i had an unfair advantage because my dad was diabetic so so growing up you know we were kind of avoiding sugar in the first place so I, I was kind of aware of these things that had sugar that maybe you don't think they do and even that diet soda is not necessarily a great alternative. Right. The the craziest thing, man, the water consumption. I don't know about you, but I've been like water loading like at least a gallon a day. It's actually tough to drink a gallon of water a day, man. You see a gallon Hell of water. <laughs> you see a gallon Hell of water tough. sitting on the shelf and you're like, just just chug that. If I don't have it by eight PM, just start chugging, but now shit fills you up, dude. And that's the great side effect of it, is that the water fills you up, then you eat less. Who did, all yep. along, all along, all these doctors saying to drink water, they were right. Who would have known? Dude, I have to keep, I keep like a, I know shit, keep a Sharpie on this plastic bottle and I tally because it's like 17 <laughs> ounces of fluid and I'm like, okay, there's two cups right there. Like I have to check it off. But that's the thing is once your body is fully hydrated, then it will release the water it's holding. You know what I mean? So like because we hold water because none of us because, you know, we normally don't walk around hydrated properly. So your body holds water. Once your body hits that, the the hydration level needs, it'll release all the other water. So, yeah, man, I've been pissing like crazy, dude. It's it's, it's nuts. Me too. I got a 40 ounce thermos. So I know once I drink that like three and a half times, I've hit a gallon. So that's been my (laughs) metric. Slice up some lemon and limes in that. So so it's not quite as bland. It makes it a little more tolerable. So. (laughs) Oh, what I'm wondering is this. How long until we start advising fighters on their weight cuts? Like how long until we're bow and glow dolce? <laughs> yeah. Well let's make this let's make this weight limit first, man. And so let's give these let's give these folks an update. So a week ago, we kicked off on this bow and glow Johnny Riggs uh, flow <laughs> combat weight cut challenge. And we took we took so we took the the, the journey, six weeks, 20 pounds, and we started last Wednesday. So today is a full week from when that kicked off, and we have some updates for you. All right, Glow, go ahead and start with, start with your progress. Seeing it on the scale already, man. I got the scale on day two, so my starting weight was technically my day two weight, so maybe I had been a little heavier at the official start, but uh, I've lost five pounds on the dot as of this morning, so five pounds, seven days, definitely on track to those 20 in, in six weeks, and maybe more. Like I said, I started at uh, 234.2, so I think it'd be pretty badass if I could get down to 205 for that light heavyweight championship limit, which has like 29, 30 pounds weight loss, so that's that's kind of what I'm angling for now. It's coming off fast. I'm not going to get too cocky, but I am feeling real good about it, and, and you you're outpacing me. I think you're even further ahead. So, so let them know how old Bo sheds them LBs. I gotta say that's classic glow to go overachiever status. Anyway, so, so there you go, buddy. But yeah, old Bo, old Bo is uh, rocking and rolling. We started at two seventeen on kickoff day. I am sitting at two oh seven as this morning. A lean and mean. That's halfway there. So, um, but I do forecast problems in the next few weeks. Um, as, as you'll see in the journal, there's been some, uh, some temperament issues. So, uh, yeah. So to talk about that also on flow combat today, we're going to publish our, our journal. Hunter went with the more, um, technical side, uh, food plan for the day, what he's been consuming, uh, exercise and whatnot, so you could follow along because I know there's uh, plenty of you guys following along and some even brave enough to do the challenge with us. Bo, on the other hand, I went with the uh, psychological side, so you'll you'll see the uh, up and down roller coaster turn of it all. Hunter, you've had a good, you've had a pre look at this journal. What do you think? Oh man, I love it, and it it mirrors a lot of what I felt, man, because I love seeing the I love seeing the the tension and that quick temper. I think. Uh, there's a couple entries there. I'm not going to spoil anything. There's a couple entries that made me laugh out loud. And it's it's the perfect bow madness where I can't tell if you're exaggerating exactly how bad it is, but I, I don't think you are. I think that's all straight off the cuff because I, I know them feels. I mean, I was at that Steelers game, the Steelers playoff game, and we went to a tailgate. And I, I 
I behaved myself and it was tough. So I, I know the feeling. I stuck to it despite being at the Steelers tailgate. So I know it's rough and I think people are going to like these journals and these updates and we're rolling strong, man. And like you said, everybody else joining in on that hashtag FC weight challenge. We appreciate all y'all making that journey. We'd love to hear from you too and love to see your progress because we're not in this alone. You know, we inspired a couple of you to, to jump on board. And if you want to get in on late notice, on short notice and be a real champ, we could do that too. And we'll have you now. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, and, and I want to send that, what you just said, I want to send that out to the, the Johnny Hendricks factor, because I know when we kicked this off, people gave us a little bit of shit saying, well, you know, you guys are, you know, it's harder for an athlete, blah, blah, we get all that. But look at this, Glow loves nothing more. He loves his family, he loves his girl, he loves the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's at a damn playoff game, right, like in Steeler heaven, and there's beer everywhere, and this kid loves to drink, but he's disciplined, he's got a task, he's got a contract sign, he's got a date. He's sticking to it. So let that be a lesson to you. So once this is all said and done and all the steaks and, and beers and gimmicks that we miss along the way, then it's going to it's gonna prove a point that if you have six weeks to do something, you, you do it. That's what you got to do. And we're going to come in lean, mean, and ugly. So uh, we love we love you guys for following along. It's been huge support. Also, before we go, a big shout out to the uh, everybody uh, who, who voted and who's going to vote. We're, we're very honored to be nominated for the World MMA Awards for media source, uh, uh, for best media source, Flow Combat, nine months of existence, and we've already made such a big mark. Uh, it's it's humbling to Hunter and I um, and the whole staff. We, we, we do everything for you, and to see all the, the support on, on social media has been fantastic. Now go out there and vote. Let's mess around and win this damn thing. I know, I know, Glow, I know you were you were hanging from the rafters. Pretty, pretty, this is pretty shocking, though. I mean, we're, we joke around, but it's pretty shocking, I thought. It really was, man. It's really cool. And, and these aren't – the great thing about this is that when we started Flow Combat, you know, we start kind of launching this thing, revving it up. We're, the goal was never to get nominated for awards or to win awards. But when something like that pops up, it kind of validates all the hard work you've been doing. Like you said, nine months, nine months and we're getting nominated alongside Sure Dog and MMA Fighting and MMA Junkie and I think Bloody Elbow was the other one. These people have been in operation. Everybody knows who they are. You know, I know who they are. I can – draw their logo for off the top of my head you know everybody knows what they who they are what they look like and what they do so to even be in that conversation just validates a lot of what we've done truly does mean a lot man and, and it really I, i'm sure you feel the same way just kind of inspires me to keep pushing harder keep taking it further and further and let's see what we can do and i think this weight cut challenge is cool and, and big for us and I, that road trip gonna be even bigger and cooler for us i think that's gonna blow the lid off some stuff in the mma space so Man, yeah, just thank you guys for, for all the love in that. It, it was really humbling and just awesome. The one thing I will say is I think that uh, we can kind of pat ourselves on the back for it and we can take some pride in is that we did set out when, you know, when you and I had these conversations early on uh, when we kicked this thing off was that we had to be different. And different doesn't always work in the MMA space, but in this nine months, it's proven that it does work. You know, we don't rehash news. Everything you see on Flow Combat is in some form of originality. You know what I mean? So we take we take good pride in that. And that's a that was a big risk for traffic purposes. But you know, you guys come there every day. You read and share the stories. You guys f give us feedback, and then to see this nomination, that's awesome. So the first year was foundation was building. Now we got that foundation built in 2017. We're gonna kick the shit out of this thing. We have this weight cut challenge. This road trip is going to change everything. It's going to give you guys a totally new access, and we're only five weeks away now. Five weeks away, so hang with us. Let's that, that, uh, let's finish this uh, weight cut challenge up. Stay away from sugar. Hug your kids, and we'll catch up to you. Donkeys, donkeys. Yeah, but well, what are you craving the most? You want chocolate? You want pizza? Like what? What would you have right now? A gimmick, dude? No, no. <laughs> not, I, I haven't I haven't had a beer craving yet. Uh, the weekend, I thought, man, that would be pretty nice, but. I would seriously like molest a cheeseburger right now. <laughs> molest it. <sighs> yeah, like buns and all, like Ooh. like a five like a Five Guys burger. Straight. They would find they'd find me throwing the fucking bow sausage at it. Straight in the buns. Oh man, so that <laughs> sounded so wrong, so beyond but wrong. Ch chocolate too at night. Do you get like what are you craving? What's weird, man, is that like we never ate that much chocolate or sugary shit like that, desserts and things like that to begin with. Yeah. So like that's been good. 
just like some bread, like dippy eggs with toast. Like toast would be, oh, toast would be great. <laughs> Beer, beer, beer is kind of tough, man. I do get a little, little craving for, for a gimmick here and there, but <laughs> exactly. Overall, it's really not that bad, man. I gotta say, I'm kind of surprised at how smoothly it's going so far.